One of the great things about particle fishing is you can make your own, your own blend. With dynamite baits, they do such a massive range of, of ready prepared, but a lot of fisheries want you to use a ready prepared one nowadays. They won't let you bring your own, your own prepared. So we've got such a massive range of particles in jars and tins from hemp, maize, beans, pulses. You've got snails with hemp, uh, sweet corn, hemp on its own, red band stuff, just krill, krill particles. Massive, massive range of particles for you to look at. So. Um, Mix it all up, make your own one, okay? Uh, the, the, the corn, this is a particle fishing uh, feature, so I couldn't use the pellet, I didn't want to use the pellet, because it would be lying. Um, I, so I soaked, I dried half a tin of corn off in a towel, put it back in the tin, it would been dried out, and give it a good liberal splashing of, of our citrus oil, which is my favourite, and rarely ever, if ever, lets me down. Give it a good shake, this makes a sweet corn PVA friendly. So I made up a little bag of that, I double skinned it, because it's deep water here. Uh, this is something I rarely if ever see anybody doing with particles, why not? It's not just all about a little bag of pellet. Sweet corn, hemp, tigers, anything like that, dry it off, pat it down, a little bit of, for me, citrus oil, let it drain off a little bit in a bag. What a way to start. No complaints there. Nice VS mirror, nice linear. 29 and a half pounds. Right, I think we do what we usually do. Slip this one back, and I think it'd be a very good idea to get that rod back in play. Thank you, Mr. Mirror. Now that was an amazing carp. 29 and a half pounds on my first visit. Cannot be too bad. How did we do it? I got here about, I don't know, two hours ago, I suppose. Um, had a little lead around, didn't want to do too much because there was another angler just around the corner from me. But I found, I mean, most of it out here, I'm led to believe, and I found with the lead, it's mostly silty and soft bed. Found a tiny little bumpy area. 13 wraps, if anyone goes in that swim again. Um, anyway, I put two rods on that and half a dozen spoms of that mixed particle I use. Um, half an hour, 45 minutes later, I saw one show about 30 yards, slightly to the right and further out. Now this is only a two rod lake, but it's always worth the chance. I had two on a baited area, a fresh baited area, I've got to say, so nothing had happened. So I put the right in one in, put a little bag of that oily um, sweet corn with the citrus oil on it, on my little rig, funded it out. It was still fizzing the fish, it went right on the bubbles, and I thought, ah, probably been a bit too accurate there, which I have done in the past, but it wasn't 10 minutes. Boom, right and rod was off, and there's the result, a lovely big linear. So always worth the chance. If you put bait out, Keep one with it, but take the chance. If I hadn't done that, as of yet, you know, we're, we're what, an hour later now, nothing else has happened, so um, there you go. We've got 24 hours ahead of us. Hopefully I'll see you soon with another great, big, lovely carp. Thank you. Good morning, and what a glorious morning it is. Unfortunately, the night, we have nothing to report. But even the craze were quiet, no, no little tweaks and bounces on the bobbins which you always get with the crayfish so it's almost like time stood still last night but um, we had that lovely fish yesterday 29 and a half pounds can't grumble at that a lovely VS mirror big linear um, we have got a few hours yet if you know us or if you know me I will keep trying until the fat lady sings and I'll start my van but um, if we no more happens thank you very much for watching this and um, see you next time thank you <laughs>